45 is the time. Here is Monument Circle. Today, they will be handing out thousands of donuts for National Donut Day. And the Salvation Army is giving the donuts for free. The Salvation Army and Jack's Donuts will be handing out, um, again, the donuts at Monument Circle. Look at those donuts. It looks so good. Let's get right to News 8's Colin Bailey, who uh, can tell us about this event that's already started. Good morning to you. Yeah, it started about 9 o'clock. You can see all these donuts behind us. They brought about 4,000 donuts out of here. Here to talk about that is Haley from Jack's Donuts. Thanks for joining us. Just talk about kind of all the donuts you're handing out and kind of why you partner with the Salvation Army. So um, Jack's Donuts, we love to give back to our local communities. Um, we have several different indie or injury-centric like locations. Um, and the Salvation Army, we've been working with them for about a year. They actually started National Donut Day, if you guys didn't know. We didn't know that until recently. But um, they asked us to come hand out donuts on the circle this year, and of course we're going to do it, you know? Why not? Well, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thanks for bringing these donuts. And like I mentioned, there's about 4,000 donuts out here. There's been people out here all morning long enjoying their donuts, getting their donuts, walking up here to the Monument Circle. We're on the southwest corner. Here to talk more about that is Rachel from the Salvation Army. I know you're holding donuts. I am. Can you talk about the history of National Donut Day? Absolutely. So this is the 86th year that we're celebrating National Donut Day. It all goes back to World War I when we had women who were sent over, we called them lassies, who were sent overseas to um, minister to those who were fighting on the front lines in, um, in the war. And they wanted to bring a taste of home, so they decided to whip up some donuts while they were there. And when those soldiers came home, they were like, gosh, we miss those donuts. And so it just became this tradition. So what's it been like out here so far? I know quite a bit of people have came by and gotten some donuts so far. Yeah, it's really exciting. And most people don't see donuts and they think, oh, it's going to be free. <laughs> so it's wonderful to surprise them with this. This is not a please event at all. This just goes back to the original intent of the donut, which was to say thank you and to honor people for being who they are. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you for giving out those donuts. Yes. I know you put a lot of smiles on people's faces this morning. And like I said, there's about 4,000 donuts, and we're here on the southwest corner on the Monument Circle. But for now in downtown Indianapolis, I'm Colin Bailey for Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.